All right, guys, it's Ozzy Grimm here with the Gamers Grimm, and we're in Baldur's Gate 3. I'm going to be making my first guide. There's a lot of guides out there, but this is something I think everybody should go and get. I'm going to show you how to get the most powerful weapon in the game that you can get, even more powerful than the Baldarian Greatsword. So we are here in the lower city of Baldur's Gate which you will get to in Act 3. And we are at the Storm Shore Tabernacle, which is not that far from the Basilisk Gate. And this is where you're going to find this weapon. So let's get started. What you're going to do is you're going to go in here. I'm going to bring the ladies in. And we're going to stand here for a few minutes, let that guy wander back over there. Yeah. I'm going to send my girl, Jahira, because in this back corner there is a hatch here. So you're going to need a rogue to uh, pick the lock or maybe uh, use the knock skill. Oh, boy. That is not what should have happened. Are we doing this again? All right, we'll hide. That's probably what we did wrong. Let's pick this lock. Make sure we damn sure get it. Yeah, we got it pretty good, pretty good. All right, it's unlocked. We'll go back over here. We didn't do anything. Nobody saw anything. Let's uh, head downstairs. All right. Me and the lady are going to go downstairs. Yep, there is a trap. So we're going to break up our group. We're going to get Jahira. She's going to be doing most of the work here. So we're going to disarm all of these traps. I'll probably fast forward through most of this stuff. Soften my steps. That, that trap disarm didn't work. But what we're trying to get to is in this chest right here at the end, the ornate offering chest. And we're going to go in here and we're going to take this amulet of the devout which is going to give us the castigated by divinity debuff so on my way need to get out of here because i didn't successfully do the trap but we'll head back here and what you want to do is you're probably going to want to stay down here for the next part because uh, waiting well certainly waiting we'll get her healed up And there's what we're looking for. You will have divas spawn after a certain period of time. Now they're pretty tough. And so later in life, later in the game is probably a better time to come for this. But if you prepare for the fight, you should be okay. Lots of elixirs. And all right, now that the divas are dead, it is time to get our weapons. They carry the best weapon in the game that you can get but if you notice if you try to loot their bodies there's nothing on them but what you can do is you pick up their bodies physically and in your inventory you'll see that I have a diva but what I can do now is go up over here to my equipped weapon and I can click and it shows all of the weapons that I have available for me to equip in all of the inventories, including the Diva Mace. So I can now equip that, and then I can take that weapon that I just had on and equip the Diva Mace. Now I have a Diva Mace on me. And as you can see, it's got a lot of damage. And since I got two Divas to spawn, I can actually 
go ahead and drop the other guy. Drop. Probably need to put on another weapon. I'll put on this. I'll put on this torch. I don't need a torch. And then I'll pick up the body. And then I'll look and see what I can wear. And look, another diva mace. And now I can just drop them. We now have two diva maces. And as you can see, I have uh, the amazing legendary trident on my guy. 6 to 18 damage, 2 acid, 1d6 thunder. But the diva mace is 13 to 46 damage. A 48 radiant is pretty brutal. And I have two. Uh, I have heard of as many as four divas spawning, so you could technically get four of these. It's a little bit of a a little bit of a, a cheat, a little bit of an exploit, but nonetheless, it is probably the best weapon in the game. It absolutely thumps, and I highly recommend grabbing it if you play an Eldritch Knight or a uh, Pact of the uh, of the Chain Warlock, or in this case, I'm uh, playing a, a Battle Master Warrior. It's it's such a good one-hander. It makes even if you look. I think I do have. I do have the. Uh, I thought I had. Yeah, even the Baldarian greatsword does not do as much damage as this mace does. It's crazy good, and it's a lot of fun to use. And yes, they can be dual wielded. Uh, if you've got the spec for it, it's pretty brutal, but. Uh, yeah, that's how you get the Diva Mace, guys. And you can get as many as you can get Divas to spawn. I got two this time. Uh, I have heard of four. Uh, the only other advice I could give you is uh, I've heard that it won't spawn a Diva if an evil character is the one that loots it. And you simultaneously get this really wonderful Amulet of the Devout that's uh, really good for your healer. So best of luck, guys. Uh, like a thanks bird for tuning in. Tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever free. Step back.